Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to another virtual chapel. Uh, we are looking at today, serving God in his kingdom. Boys and girls, a blessed epiphany to you. Again, what does epiphany mean? Epiphany means, wow, that's amazing. Never thought of that. It is something that comes to us in a way that we just can't quite understand sometimes. So today, we've looked at baptism, and we've looked at prayer. We've looked at how God takes care of us and has connected us through Jesus Christ. That little baby that we celebrate in Christmas has connected us to God. Wow! We are called by God in baptism, and he places his name upon us. Wow! We look to the cross and know that that is where our salvation came from. Wow! And we have one God in three persons. I don't understand that. That's pretty wow, though. It's pretty wild to think. We have Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The song that you just listened to prior to the uh, chapel today, Walking in the Light of God. We are marching to the light of God. That is really a cool thought about how God is able to use us. And the wow moment for us today is that God's light is inside of us. And we are able to reflect that light to others. Wow. God calls us to serve. And we've talked about that before. We put on the full armor of God. That's our theme this year. To protect us and keep us safe while we march in the light of our God. So today, the fifth grade is going to help us understand a little bit about what it is to serve others, to sacrifice ourselves for others, to think about others before we think about ourselves. The greatest commandment is this, that we love the Lord our God with all our heart, with all our mind, with all our soul, with all our strength, and we love our neighbor as ourselves. Jesus said those are the two greatest commandments. And they both call us to serve. So let's get started and let's go to the fifth grade classroom and learn about serving God in his kingdom. Let us begin in the name of our God, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our first reading is from Matthew 20:28. 20, Just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. This next reading is from John 12, 26. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, my servant will also be. My Father will honor the one who serves me. This next reading is from Matthew 23, 11. Jesus said, He who serves you as a servant would is the greatest among you. Then a teacher of the law stood up. He was trying to test Jesus. He said, Teacher, what must I do to get life forever? Jesus said to him, What is written in the law? What do you read there? The man answered, Love the Lord your God. Love him with all your heart, all your soul, all your strength, and all your mind. Also, you must love your neighbor as you love yourself. Jesus said to him, Your answer is right. Do this, and you will have life forever. But the man wanted to show that the way he was living was right. So he said to Jesus, And who is my neighbor? To answer this question, Jesus said, A man was going down the road from Jerusalem to Jericho. Some robbers attacked him. A woman was going down the road from Jerusalem to Jericho. Some robbers attacked her. And... and beat her. Then they left her lying there, almost dead. It happened that the, a Jewish priest was going down that road. When the priest saw the woman, he walked by on one of the other side. Next, a Levite came there. He went over and looked at the man 
Then he walked by on the other side of the road. Then traveling down the road, a, a Samaritan came to where the hurt man was lying. He saw the man and felt sorry for him. The Samaritan went to him and poured olive oil and salve on his wounds and bandaged them. He put the hurt man on his own donkey and took him to an inn. At the inn, the Samaritan took care of him. The next day, the Samaritan brought out, brought out two silver and gave them to the innkeeper. The Samaritan said, Take care of this man. If you spend more money on him, I will pay you back to you when I come again. Then Jesus said, Which one of these three men do you think was a neighbor to the man who was attacked by the robbers? The teacher of the law answered, The one who helped him. Jesus said to him, Then go and do the same thing he did. This next reading is 1 Peter 4.10. God has shown you his grace in giving you different gifts, and you are like servants who are responsible for using these gifts. So I encourage you to be good servants and use your gifts to serve each other. So let's pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. This last reading is from 1 John 3.18. My children, our love should not be only words and talk. Our love must be true love, and we should show that love by what we do. Let us pray. Dear Father in heaven, we praise your name and give you glory as you are able to use us in serving others. Your love sustains us and guides us to do your will. We pray that everyone who heard this virtual chapel may follow us and serve Jesus as their Lord and Savior. In your name, Jesus, we pray, amen. Let us begin in the name of our God, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. All right, let's try that one more time. Let us. Let us begin in the name of our Father, in the name of the Father, Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You want to try one more time? Yeah. Now just remember and how I do it again. <laughs> God, in the name of our God, Father, Son, Holy, Son, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Oh, uh, okay. How do I start again? Some robbers attacked him. Him. Then they left him lying there. Some robbers attacked her. And Let's go! Mother. Then they left her lying there, almost dead. You're gonna end up there. You're still down. No, you stay down. Stay down there, Lily. Stay right where you're at. There you go. Just hold yourself right there. This is the modern version. Am I going to be on camera sitting back here? Because if I am, I'll move.